Yes, I'm wearing the same thing that I've been wearing for two videos prior to this. It's Sunday. I'm filming all my videos at once. It's been crazy in our house, and this is what works for me. So, I'm wearing this, and that's all there is to it. I have the Spring Fling tag for you. It was tagged by Al from Al for Living, so thank you, Al, for tagging me. I really appreciate that. I love doing these, and I get really excited when I get tagged in them. I'll go ahead and get started. There are... 10 questions about spring and I haven't really looked over the questions. I'm familiar with the questions from watching the tag here on YouTube, so here we go. Question number one, what eye palette do you or will you use most this spring? I can count this as a palette because it's more of a shell cosmetics. This is the quad in Bora Bora. This color right here is amazing. So. I've played around with it a little bit already and I quite like it. So I'm excited to use more of that. And then the next one that I'm really excited about is this Urban Decay Beauty with an Edge palette that Kristen gave me. And I cannot wait to use these colors. Like this whole middle section here, I am just super excited to try out, especially this, just, they're just going to be perfect for spring. And then it has the nice neutrals that I compare with it. So I'm going to be trying to do a lot of, not a lot, but I'm going to start incorporating color into my eye looks and I'm super excited to use both of these palettes. Number two, what blush in your collection is a spring must have? What about a lipstick? Um, Bonnie and I just did a collaboration. Um, the first the first installment was about lipsticks and the second installment was about blush. I'll li link those videos below if you haven't watched them. But anything I mentioned in any of those videos, um, the Tom Ford Love Lust, the Laura Geller um, Baked Blush in Malibu, the Cargo Blush in Catalina, Pink. very coral very vibrant blush. And then as far as lipstick goes, anything coral and orange, anything that's bright pink, um, fuchsia, radiant orchid, purple, anything like that I'm totally loving. Um, I'm super into pink and coral right now and so everything that I see is like super, like I'm gravitated to. Like for example, like what do I have? I'll show you what I have surrounding me right now and this will kind of show you. Um, what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> I don't know. Question number see. three. What nail polishes do you love to wear in the spring? I like to wear the pastels, like the milky purples and pinks and yellows and greens and blues. And then when spring moves into summer, I wear the more vibrant version of all of them. So anything I'm like that, I'm super obsessed with. What's your signature spring scent? Hands down, um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I'm running low on it, but my birthday's right around the corner. So, um, I, once that's gone, I'm going to move into the Marc Jacobs, the Daisy. Um, but the Oh So Fresh version, I just think it's really clean. Anything clean and fresh, I like to wear in the spring and the summer. I tend to stay away from, like, heavier noted scents. Um, unless it's like special occasions, then I'd probably wear something like Flower Bomb or Tom Ford Black. Um, what is on your spring break agenda? Like, do people still have spring break like after they like turn 25? I mean, I have a child, but she's not in school, so it's not like she has a spring break. Um, and when is spring break? Has it passed? Is it coming up? Is it around Easter? I don't officially know when technically spring break is, but we do have a family vacation planned um, around Easter. We'll be in California for nine days. So does that count? Is that spring break? I don't know. I'm assuming. I Trends guess. are you looking forward to the most? Fashion, makeup, nail polish, etc. Um, <laughs> oh my God, fashion. I'm just not... Um, <laughs> I'm not very fashion forward. I kind of just wear what I like and that's what I wear, whether it's on trend or not. But as far as makeup and nail polish goes, um, just as makeup, the oranges, the purples, 
that and then the whole like dewy fresh glowing skin i'm into that i love it um and then nail polish i've already addressed that i mean whatever do you have a spring skincare must have no um i will say this in the winter i've been using so far i've been using that cetaphil that intense moisturizer uh, on my face and I'll continue to use that at night because I just love it but I think in the daytime I'm gonna go to the lighter version of that just because I do get more oily when it gets warmer out so I will switch to that oh and then um I a must have for me is a um, matte finish setting spray so um, I was using the Urban Decay D Slick um, it's almost gone I have like a maybe one use left and then I picked this up um the NYX matte finish setting spray I haven't tried this yet so I thought I'd give it a go if it works just as good then I'm gonna buy this because it's way cheaper um so yeah I guess a lighter moisturizer for daytime and then a matte makeup setting spray to just help with the extra oil that will occur when it gets warm what is spring like where you live well technically it's spring and it is like 30 degrees the sun is shining and the snow is melting so that is a plus but it's still cold and we're supposed to get snow I think tomorrow night I don't think it's gonna be much of an accumulation but it's coming so spring for us has a rough start it, it goes in spurts it goes in spurts one spring I can remember it was warm like that and it stayed warm and it didn't get cold again. We've been having, you know, some days it's 50, some days it's 20, some days it's 40, some days it's 30, some days it's snowing, some days it's sunny, whatever. Um, so right now, spring has not sprung, but I'm hoping soon. Florals, gotta have them or make them stop. Gotta have them or make them stop? I forget what this question was about. Florals, Got, gotta have them or make them stop? Like a f like flowers, florals, florals. Gotta have them or make them stop. Gotta have them or make them stop. I don't even know what this question means. I guess I should have paid more attention when I was watching videos. Oops. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, if it means like floral scents. Mm. Um, if it means like floral arrangements, we can't have flowers in our house because our cats eat them. Um, floral scents, I don't mind them if they're like not like the main note. So I don't know, I have allergies, so I guess no, make them stop. Thing or activity to do in the spring when it gets warm enough just to take my child outside I feel like we've been so cooped up with the germs this winter that it's gonna be nice to get outside and get playing it's like every day when I bring her home from daycare she like wants to it's like no there's piles of snow I can't and it's no 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 so it'll be nice once the weather gets warmer to be able to get home from school and play outside for a while or have dinner and then go on a walk as a family um it'll it'll be nice to do that and i, I don't garden i don't do any of that kind of stuff we play softball in a women's league that starts at the end of april so i'm really excited for that it's the end of the tag um i hope you enjoyed it uh these videos are fun to do um i'm not gonna tag anybody in particular because I tag, I tag everyone, okay? I tag everyone. The pressure of picking people is too much. So, I tag you. You, 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 you. Everybody. Just do it. Um, so, yeah, that's it um, for my spring fling, spring fever tag. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.